Hey guys, Nancy Faye here, Modern Day Pilgrim. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. And welcome back to my channel. Well, guess what? I'm taking off. I'm bugging out. I'm going rock hunting. It was, uh, it was either stay home and take down the Christmas decorations or go on a little road trip. And uh, we all know what Nance chose. Yeah, Nancy Faye is going rock hunting. Right on. So the Christmas decorations are going to be there when I get home. I'm going to hop in the grocery store real quick because uh, this is so last minute. I, I don't have any uh, lunch meat type stuff to sustain me protein wise. I've got lots of fruits and vegetables, but uh, I need to grab a couple things. So I'm going to hop in here, grab a couple things, and uh, I'll be out in a flash. All right, catch you in a minute. Here we are. All right, this is what I've got. A couple of these water guys, my gloves. I need those for rock hunting so I don't get my hands all wet. And these, these are going to be good for me on the road. They're healthy. I checked them on the Yucca app. If you don't have the Yucca app, check it out. Bananas, mustard, bacon for my wraps. I've got my fresh turkey, no, it's ham and roast beef, apple, and yogurt. That's it. All right, let's get out of here. So these are all my soups that are only going to take water because I don't have my camp kitchen. But uh, I want to say to everybody, if you haven't checked out the Yucca app, Y-U-K-A, you should check it out. All you got to do is scan the barcode and it tells you whether or not that item is good, bad, or ugly. All Raymond soup type things are horrible for you, but I just scanned a million of them and then I found these guys. So these are... Uh, Annie Chun's and they are good to excellent and we'll get into that later but refrigerated items we've got our ham and turkey our apples our yogurts okay it says my refrigerator is 38 right now so we have to fix that these are just the soups um, my gloves my meats, okay, bananas, I'll leave those in the bag, mustard, I'll leave that in the bag. These I'll, I'll put in the front seat with me for now. I'm gonna set this for, I'll go 35 and get that going. So my fridge is packed, just gonna tie this stuff up and we're gonna hit the road. Okay, having a banana. I'm uh, starving, basically, but um, it's going to be about a three to four hour drive to where I'm going. I should be getting there, I don't know, hour before sunset maybe, which will give me just enough time to do some rock hunting, which I'm excited about. And uh, yeah, so made sure I used the restroom in the wire so I didn't have to deal with that um, on the road and or in my van. Just wanted to get that out of the way. And uh, we are on our way. So I got everything I need. I bought just enough for the next two or three days. Nothing more. Basically have just the bare minimum in this van. So anyhow, uh, that is all for the moment. I'll catch you guys in a little while. I don't want to bore you with my road trip. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's just drive, drive, driving. All right, catch you in a while. In three quarters of a mile, turn left onto Antrim Street. Hey guys, well, uh, I'm kind of killing time here in a parking lot, in a McDonald's parking lot, before I get to my sneaky, stealthy sleeping spot, because it just, uh, just got dark here, but there's no Wi-Fi where I'm going, and I'm in the process of uploading a video for you guys. So I'm sitting here and I thought, well, gee whiz, I'm starving. So what I did was I put my window covers in. You can see a couple of them. I just put in this one here, which is a parking spot next to me. This back one here, because it's facing the McDonald's, 
of course the back window because people are pulling in and then this one you can't see it but on the other side of here I just put that one in so nobody can see me what I'm doing I have a light on here and I'm gonna make myself some soup in here while I wait for this video to upload because after I leave here I'm not gonna have any Wi-Fi access to do that so I'm going to quickly boil some water make this screaming soup which I want to show you real quick remember when we were in the mire and I was going through the soups and I was scanning their their barcodes or UPC barcodes what do you call them I don't even know but uh, I have an app called Yucca Y-U-K-A that thing is the bomb.com I'm telling you if you guys are healthy eaters and care about what's in your food you need to get that app I do pay for it it's I don't even know what you'll have to check it out because I don't want to give any wrong information it's not that expensive in my personal opinion but I pay for it and you scan the barcodes of all the foods and it tells you whether it's excellent good fair poor or bad all right I just had a freak out I know I don't have the best light but I can't have a ton of light in here right now because I'm in a parking lot and uh, I'm not all covered up and sealed up but I thought I forgot a lighter which I kind of did forget a lighter but guess what I had one in my door I want to let you know something. The window is cracked. Do you see this? That's cracked window, okay? If anybody's concerned that I'm gonna asphyxiate myself, all right? So I've got my bottle of water here and I'm gonna pour it in my pan. I don't know how much I'm gonna need for this, but it actually says I'm supposed to microwave these, but that ain't happening, just saying. Maybe I'll have to add that soup to this little pan. I don't know. Let me just put that in there. I really don't know, actually. I'm not done this. I'm going to move my pillow here, my sleeping pillow, just so I can get closer to the table. Okay. And I'm going to move this one, which goes in my, my double sleeping bag. Okay. All right. So let's quickly take a look at this. It's actually cooked. These noodles are actually par cooked, it looks like, so this is gonna be pretty easy. Basically gonna pour that water into this container because that's how you would make it at home if you were microwaving it. So this is what we're gonna do. little flame here we're gonna open up our burner so this is an MSR stove I'm sorry my light is cruddy but I can't have any more light in here right now this thing screws on to this thing so you turn the little lever here and the gas comes out so let's do that gently okay I hear it all right there it is you see there my little stove. I'm going to put the lid on wherever I put that so it will boil quicker. And I'm going to turn my fan on, which is down here, so we can get that heat moving around. So this is a USB fan. Okay. Now I smell that. I smell that burning, but again, I do have the window open. But I'm going to put a fan on just to move the air in the van, okay? Better safe than sorry. And I also have my fire extinguisher spray. And once again, I know I know the light's not really the greatest right now, but I can't have a lot of light on right now, at least up there. Normally I would have my light behind the camera, but I can't because I don't have a, I don't have a window shade. Just people are pulling in, pulling in, pulling in. Oh, somebody's pulling in right now, but that's okay. All right, I've uh, poured the water in here. You can see it's still smoking. And uh, loosened up the noodles there. I've never made this before, so I don't know if it's going to take a while. But if it does, and it's kind of one of those deals that they actually need to be cooked more than just softening them with boiled water, I'm going to dump this back in that pan, and we're going to cook it a little bit more. But... Uh, it smells delicious, that much I can tell you. Okay, so done eating. Used the restroom here at the McDonald's. Got the van all sorted out, put everything away, cleaned out my pan and everything. Um, from the water, wasn't even dirty, but I mean dried it out and everything. But 
uh, I just want to let you know something. So while I was here, I'm still here, I'm just getting ready to bug out. I decided to get all my window covers ready in the spots they need to be in. So that way, when I get to my sneaky spot, I don't have to worry about scrambling around quickly getting them up. They're already where they need to be. In my magnetic ones that are on the passenger and the driver's sides here, I've already put them up and got them all sorted and then I just move them back with the magnet. So all I have to do is just straighten them right back out. So all my window covers are ready for when I pull in. I've eaten. I don't have to worry about uh, any of that and uh, I'm just going to get ready for bed actually. So I'm going to take off, get to my place, get myself all buttoned up and then uh, I'll catch up with you before I hit the sack, alright? in our sneaky spot and uh, all is well. Everything went relatively smoothly. However, when I went to pull in, two cars turned in after me. So I just kept going and I just made another loop around the area I was in, gave it a minute or two, pulled back in, nobody was behind me, slipped right in and wouldn't, you know it, just as soon as I pulled in, turned off my lights, got ready to put my window covers in that I had stationed by every window, two more cars came in after me. They didn't know that I was in the van, but I was just getting ready to take out my, my windshield one. And that may have caused a little bit of commotion, like people might have seen the reflection from the the reflectix on the outside if they had their headlights I don't know I just froze I just waited they parked and they were together so one parked two spots next to me here two spots over and one's right in front of me over here they got out met and and off they went so then waited till the coast was clear quickly put in my window covers and all is well so just a little bit of a hiccup on the way in but MBD, I got it figured out. But uh, I'm all cleaned up, washed up, feel good. I don't know how do I look, guys. How do I look? Just whoo. Here's my wash rag. I got it drying right here. You can't see. I'll show you in a minute, though. I've got my fan blowing on it over here, and it's, it's drying it. But uh, anyhow, I want to talk about something before we get into what's going on here in the van. When I was cooking my soup, of course, everybody knows this, but I just want to throw this out there. Even though I had my uh, windows rolled down, I had this one here rolled down, and I actually did have my front window about a mm, couple inches, two, three inches, because I have the rain guards on the outside so I can roll the windows down a little bit to where the rain guard goes, and nobody knows that my windows are open. But I, even though I did that, just burning those burning that little can on my msr stove and obviously boiling the water but i did have a lid on obviously but it doesn't matter you take the lid off a lot of condensation on the windows and uh mostly back here mostly on this one here and this one back not the back window but this one over here this one yeah so those two windows had a ton of condensation on them and i I didn't even have all my window covers up. Like I said, I only had the ones through the back of the van because that's where cars were coming in and I didn't want to have them see what I was doing in here. And in front of me was a building. Uh, it was a little grassy area and then a, a, a back of a building. So nobody was there, nobody could see me. But I was, um, I was definitely um, undercover through the back of the van here. But yeah, a lot of condensation. So, you know, let's just talk about that for a minute. That's one of the reasons I don't cook in my van. I don't want to have to deal with that. And granted, I don't live in my van. I know a lot of you guys live in your van and that's fantastic. If I ever had to, excuse me, live in my van, I absolutely would because I have no problem with it. And my husband always says, you know, when I'm gone, I know I know where you're going to be, off in your van somewhere. You're going to be living in your van. <laughs> he's, probably, he's probably right. 
okay okay he's probably right oh man so yeah so i love it but i just wouldn't love cooking in my van unless i had some kind of a a fan that could pull the air out on the top i forget what you call it right now it's uh to be in the old noggin here so yeah i don't cook in the van too much and if i do i cook off the back of the van but i don't mind boiling water in here to make soups and, and those raymond soup thingies um i'm certainly sure there's going to be condensation tonight on these windows this w window's cracked here uh yes this one and this one yeah, I didn't do the front windows this time. I did these two. It's kind of closed right now because I don't want anybody to see in here if I pull away my window covers. But when I go to bed and I turn the lights out, I'll take the corners off so I can get some fresh air in here. And yeah, it'll be cold, but whatever. Um, it says it's 63 in here right now. I don't have any outdoor temperatures on this. But let me, I think, what did it say? Uh, oh, I'm using my phone. I can't, you know I do everything with my phone. Uh, I took a screenshot of it. I think it said 33 degrees where I am right now. So 33 and it's, what did I say? 63 in here, but that's going down. It was 69 in here a little while ago. Uh, now it's just going to come down. It's going to continually come down, but that's okay. Yeah. So all is well. I had a really great day traveling. Um, I feel nice, fresh and clean. I did wash. I feel good. I just really sleep much better when I wash myself. Yeah, I do. So let me show you what I got going around the van here. Okay. Down here is my my Bouge RV, my 21 quart compressor refrigerator, and I love this thing. It is hooked up to my Jackery, and right now my Jackery is at 98%. Since the compressor is on, it's pulling 31 watts right now, which is not bad at all. And this is intermittent, obviously. Um, because it's a compressor refrigerator, which means this will go on and off all night long as needed. Nothing going on up here. As you can see, my keys in case I got to take off. Nothing going on here. There's my water up there. And what else do I have over here? My notebook, my gloves, and my, um, my fanny pack right there. My water is down there. And these are my magnetic curtains, and they're fantastic. Got them on that side, too. Here's my fan. My fan is right now blowing my washcloth, which is drying. You can see that drying wonderfully. So, and this fan has three speeds. It's USB charged, um, which is awesome. So I charge everything on my Jackery or my Blue Eddy or whatever battery I have to have. I have an extra blanket there. That's my AirPods and my, my gun. And my power station. Yeah, that's my Blue Eddy AC50S, and I decided to bring that so I could stick it up here and charge my essentials, my iPad, my AirPods, my phone. Underneath here is my, uh, all my goods. That's all I got going on. And see my paper towel over there, and then my food down there. But uh, yeah, that is it. Everything's good. My garbage hanging here. This is my empty water bottles. Remember what we use this for? We save these. Why? To spit our toothpaste in. Then we throw it away in the morning. So when I go to bed tonight, I will use my water here and I will brush my teeth and spit in there and throw it in that bag and get rid of the bag in the morning. The temperature's still going down. It's 61 in here now. But uh, it'll get in the 30s tonight, but I'll be warm. I don't think I'm going to put my tent up tonight. I just honestly don't feel like doing it. I am pretty whooped out. But anyhow, this is what I got going on in here. Super comfortable. All right, I, am, I have to turn these lights down now. So I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to turn these lights down. Anyhow, all is well. I have no complaints. Um, had a great day. Looking forward to tomorrow. I'm going to do some rock hunting out here in several different places. I'm going to probably hit the sack early tonight so I can get up early and just make the most of my day up here. I'll have one more day up here and then I'll spend the night again up here. And then I have to get home tomorrow because I'm watching my granddaughter. I'm looking forward to that. I love that little girl. 
So uh, one more day up here. It is going to be probably in the mid 30s tomorrow, but I brought everything I need to stay warm. All my double layers. I've got an extra blanket here if I don't want to get in all my blankets when I'm laying down to watch a movie. Or I'll probably sit up and watch a movie. I downloaded two things to my um, to my iPad. Watch one tonight, one tomorrow, and then I'll be all set with that. So anyhow, I hope everyone is doing fabulously. I hope you all have a great rest or a great day depending on where you are at what time you're viewing this video and i hope it was helpful to you and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate that everything i learn i like to share with you and in turn you can share with your friends and remember we don't want to be cluttery van campers guys bring what you need not what you think you might need just in case because that's where the clutter begins all right that is all you guys i will catch you later have a good evening until next time